If you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel, great, but you gotta follow these three steps. It's too late for me. No, it's not. It's okay, let's just backtrack and get these things set now. Welcome back to Creator People, where we're all about helping family-friendly creators and businesses to grow their influence and income with integrity. In this video, I'll be breaking down what you need to do before you start your channel, or if you've already started, some things you need to know now. When I work with creators one-on-one, -on -one, I use this analogy of building a house to talk about building your YouTube business. And of course, the beginning of a house is a foundation, right? So I would talk about mission statements and types of content you create in your style. Those are all super important, but I realize that's actually not the first step in building a house. If you've ever built a house or know anything about the process, you'll know there are three things that absolutely must take place before you can lay a foundation. And they are equally as important in running a YouTube business. You need to find the land, create the plan, and pull the permits. When you build a house, you need to know where the land is, what it looks like, what you can expect from it, what the water level is, does it flood when it rains, how are you gonna live on that land? Does it suit your purposes? Well, you've already chosen the land to build your content entrepreneur business in, so it's important that you understand how it works. Write this down in your notes. Understanding the land you're going into, the land you wanna build on, is key to being successful. What are the things we need to know about this land? Well, number one, you need to know that YouTube doesn't care about you. YouTube cares about their money. I want money. And I'm not saying that's bad. I am capitalistic. I'm all for YouTube making their money. But you need to know that that is their goal and not getting eyes on your content. That's not what they're trying to do. And that's not their job. They're giving you a free place to put your content. And if you build enough following, they'll even give you some of their money. But if you're not making the money, they have no money to give you. And you need to know how big the land is, right? Well, YouTube is huge. YouTube is so big that it's easy to get lost in. It's easy for your voice to sound just like all the other ones. And so coming into YouTube, you need to know that you need to stand out a little bit. Now that doesn't mean be the loudest or most intense or most shiny. I am not a shiny guy. I don't care very much about shiny. And I'd rather you not try to be shiny if that's not who you are. I'd rather you try to be unique. And that's actually gonna help you stand out the most in YouTube. You need to know going into this that your uniqueness the stuff that makes you special is what will help you stand out on YouTube. So do not go in there trying to be like everyone else. People see through it, it doesn't work. And building a YouTube business, you need to know how you can make money in this land of YouTube. And I'll tell you, most people have got it wrong. If you think that you're gonna make the most of your money off of YouTube AdSense, you're either gonna make very little money or you're gonna be working at this thing for a really long time and not getting the most out of your time and energy investment. It's hard to make videos. It's hard to make videos consistently. And with time and effort, you should be getting paid for that. But if you're relying on YouTube AdSense to get your money on YouTube, you're missing out. There are a few other easy ways you could be making money on YouTube literally from day one. And actually, I'll be putting out a video pretty soon on just what those are. So go ahead and get subscribed if you haven't so you don't miss when that comes out. Now, once you've found the land, good job. Now you need a plan. What kind of house are you gonna build? What is your business gonna look like? Now for me, this is all about figuring out your target audience. This is a big deal for me. It's something I spend a lot of time talking with people about when I meet one-on-one -on -one with them because if you don't have an audience, you actually don't have a niche. I mean, ask yourself this. Are you here serving a concept, a topic, or are you serving people? Write down right now in your notes, target audience. What very specific group of people are you trying to serve with your content? And once you've got that figured out, you can start narrowing down the kind of content that person's looking for so they can actually find you. And when you know your audience and you know the kind of content you're gonna make, you can put your personality into it and kind of figure out the vibe. This isn't just, I'm gonna build a house. I'm gonna build this style of house that has this many rooms, that has this color on the outside of the thing, that has this kind of decor on the inside. You are designing the YouTube business yourself. This is your vision. What are you going to put into it? But again, the first step in that is understanding who your target audience is. So here's an exercise I've gone through with a bunch of people. Make up a name. Just figure out a name for the person you're hoping watches your videos. Bob, Mary, Sven, Mackenzie. Write a name down and write down how old they are and what kind of home they live in and how many kids they have and what their favorite hobbies are and what their priorities are in life. Knowing more and more about your specific target audience can help you to understand what kind of content they're looking for. As you're writing this down, ask yourself, does this sound like me? Yeah, it probably does. I think a lot of us are out there creating content for the person we know is like us and we wish that somebody was making for us in the beginning. That's okay, stay true to that and keep making content for that person if they're out there, if there's a market for it. That's the right kind of content. So your target audience, the types of content you're gonna make and the style of your channel all go into the plan for your YouTube business. And that plan will help you to actually give something of value to your target audience. And if you're getting value out of this, guys, if you would go ahead and hit like, I'd appreciate it because 
that will help other people in my target audience to find this video and hopefully they'll get some value out of it too. And once you have the land and the plan, then you can work on the permits. And this legit does matter. No, you don't have to have a license to run a YouTube channel, but you do need permits and write this down, you need permits from three parties, not like from the city and the county and the state. Rather, at least for me as a Christian, I needed, my wife needed permits from God. Have you actually asked God if this is what he wants you to be doing? Not saying it isn't, not saying it is. I don't know, but for me, every decision I make in my life starts with prayer, right? So for us and for all Christian folks, I would say, ask God, is this his best for your life? And then the second place you need to pull a permit is from your family. This can be a few different things. If you're married, maybe it's from your wife or your husband, do they understand the amount of time and effort you're gonna be putting into it? Are they with you and supportive of what this journey looks like? Do they understand somebody might be in your comments section talking smack and they can't find them and hunt them down and attack them? To clarify, don't respond to words with violence. This is not the Oscars. Have you talked about whether or not your kids are gonna be in the shots? Are you gonna put them on the videos? Are you not gonna put them on the videos? How much of your personal life is gonna be in there? Brigitte and I kind of nailed this down before we started her channel. And it's been a huge help because it's not really a point of tension. So make sure you have the permits from God and from your family so that it's not a point of tension in your family either. And then make sure you get permission from yourself. This stuff is hard, guys. And you start the journey not really knowing what to expect. And you might know that you're going to grow slow, but every time you put out a video and you don't get a new subscriber, or maybe you just don't get but three views for the first day or two or 20, that can be hard. Are you giving yourself permission to continue to be you and maintain your integrity even when it's hard? Are you giving yourself permission to put in the time that it's going to take? Are you giving yourself permission to put your pride in the back seat and grow every single video, getting a little bit better, knowing that you're not the best, but you could be better? Are are you giving yourself permission for the financial investment it's going to take? I've got a whole bunch of gear and a whole bunch of knowledge I didn't have a few years ago. It took me a long time to learn what I know. It doesn't have to take you a long time. If you're interested in accelerating that growth, getting some one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can go to creatorpeople.com to find out more about that. But you've got to get those three things, the land, the plan, and the permits in place to set you up for success on YouTube. And then when you know the land and you have a plan and you pulled the permits, you can make a channel trailer to introduce yourself to your target audience. If you aren't sure what that's supposed to look like, I made a video all about how to create a channel trailer that actually gets you subscribers. So after you subscribe, go ahead and click here to watch that.